Everything wrong with Sonic's Traveler's Tales games. I skipped an ad for you, you're welcome. There's a lot wrong with 3D Blast. I miss the old logo. It's kind of cute. Oh my god. Yeah. Look, I get it. This is incredibly impressive given the limitations of the technology at the time. But True. you cannot, in full capacity of your mental faculties, tell me that this looks no. good. No. So, There's a reason okay. when they always like do those yeah, retro games and stuff, they never bring up the PS1 generation because even the then, back then, it looked the the fugly. Practically, with the original programmers' blessing to do so, given the existence of this version of the game, and without it coming off purely as my opinion, but the original version controls like ass. For two, this version fixes some bugs and oversights that the original had, such as the layering order of objects that you would think you'd be able to stand on because you know it looks like you should be able to. Three, because the director's cut adds the ability to turn into supersonic after you collect all seven. Chaos Emeralds instead of just granting you That's cool. the final boss. You're gonna make me collect all of them and not even let me have fun with it? What are you, Sonic Spin? <laughs> fourth, it was 1990 goddamn six. There was no excuse for this game to not have a save system. I, now, I, I can think of a reason. Screw really you. you know There's a reason. Doing. I didn't really grow up with this game and never really touched it on Mega Collection, so I have no nostalgia for it, meaning that I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I first played this. And a save system would have been very useful. I believe that. Clickies oh. are mysterious birds. Okay, they then. live in another dimension and can travel anywhere through large rings they live in another <laughs> no they don't no they don't clickies have been in sonic's world since the first game maybe these was that a typo and mystery like a mistranslation before, but that's not what the story says yeah, we haven't yeah, seen those three but... coincidence that Sonic just so happened to be visiting Flicky Island when Robotnik just so happened to turn them into Badniks. And then the Badniks so are talking to story, Sonic. Sonic can only travel through the big rings with the help of the Flickies he rescues, but he's been able to go through giant rings before. Yeah, he would send Sonic what 1. You get 50 rings, rings go to the end of the stage, boom. I mean, like, other than the size. Why do these need the Flickies in order to work? Nah, nah, see, because, like, it's a grove. And the <laughs> Groves aren't hills. Totally different. I will say that there are two things about the director's cut that I wish were different. I wish it wasn't based on the Mega Drive version because I think the Saturn had the superior visuals and special stages. Like, I get it. You John Burton probably too. didn't have the source code for the Saturn version, Music not subjective. to mention making a patch for the Genesis version, which I think is the more accessible of the two, was probably easier. Mm. But I think that same limitation causes the other Ow. thing about the director's cut I wish was included. The ability to change between soundtracks. That'd be I think cool. Both are great, but because Jun Tsunoi composed the Mega Drive version, which didn't release in Japan, he reused a lot of the songs in Future Sonic. That's the whole attack I'm always slapped in the face when I hear the Genesis version of Green Grub Zone's music because all I can hear is Windy Valley. <laughs> Knuckles, God Fair damn enough. it! What are you doing here? Who's protecting the Master <laughs> Emerald right now? Seriously, Knuckles is just here with no explanation either from the game itself that or the, the part manual. That's worse than the and Mega Tails is here too, fun special fact. Special stages. The manual briefly mentions that they're on the island by way of saying Sonic and friends show up to <gasps> the island, as well as mentioning them by name during the That's all you need. Of the and friends. <laughs> boot this game up without having read them, Sonic arrives at Flicky Island, and Tails and Knuckles are just... Yeah, you could assume those are his friends. friends. And speaking of the manual... Why is he talking to Sonic and Tails the there? European version of the box art? I never do this. Box art is practically at the very top of the list of things I don't even bother to touch on. But this is not okay. <laughs> I don't know who on the team... I love that box art for how terrible it is. It's Papa Sonic, isn't it? <laughs> Digitized it as a 3D model and slapped it on for European audiences to have a look at, but nah, mate. It's also, so bad. I love it. <laughs> them to go to a special stage. If they have the ability to do that... Just take me there. You're my friend. Them, like, rings and hand 50 of them over. The Why 52 if you're going to do a charge? Didn't be like, hey, give me, just give me a couple bucks, dude. They're responsible for teleporting you to the special stage, but in the Saturn version, they physically take you to it. They don't even do anything other than drop you off, like some kind of extra-dimensional Uber driver. <laughs> on the subject of the special stages, I thought for the longest time that you could fall off the bridge in the Mega Drive version. Like, right? You'd think so, you because can't? how much the bridge zigzags huh. and the fact that there's no... thought that would have been obvious, given the back, you know, it's just, it's, it's just streams, you could fall. I'm glad you can't, but when I found out you couldn't, it almost trivialized the challenge for yeah, me. Yeah, well, they could okay, just, I'd rather you can't, call though. these things yeah. Jolly Ranchers of Power, <laughs> yeah. I used to look in the 90s, but Jolly this is of just a straight-up Jolly Rancher. Not even a powered-up one, just like a... I don't know. It's She's flavored. flavored. Mm, my so, favorite. It's so weird to me that not only was this graphic not fixed or changed for the director's cut version, which... 
you know. But that the Chaos <laughs> Emeralds in the 16-bit version look incredibly different from the 32-bit version. Like, mm. this is what they look like nowadays, and I'd get it if the Saturn version was an updated port or something, but the two versions were developed at the same time. And you want to know the worst part about Tails and Knuckles being your ticket to the special stages? If you fail one, you don't get to just try again. Oh, okay. They won't leave their spot, and because of that, you would think you can just give them 50 more rings to retry, but nope, they just take them. Don't even do anything with them. Just you, you bastard! So <laughs> Didn't even leave. We break these pillars if Sonic is spinning like the Tasmanian Devil. Like he can spin dash in this game. What makes horizontal spinning stronger than vertical spin? Because he really likes to you part, spin me right round song. It's definitely weird for a Sonic game, and frankly, I'm surprised we're doing this again after Sonic Labyrinth. I have two nickels and all that, but for the <laughs> most part, it's fine. That is, until you ask me to do some platforming, which yeah, no, not fun. Yeah, what you even had a drop shot out. Was it enough? Play places this. Sh McDonald's. Yeah, when I see that, I think McDonald's play place, and not the newer ones, like the old nineties and stuff. But more specifically, because something can hit you, and the flickies can end up on top of the lava until you go rescue them, which is easier said than done when you don't have a fire shield. Volcano Valley Zone's boss is also made more frustrating because of the ice perspective. For starters, I wouldn't immediately think that I can jump on those pipes, much less that I need to use them to fight the boss. But also, it is so easy to fall off of them, considering you need to hold a diagonal direction on controllers that only have a Ow. And for the record, yes, I do know about the easy way to beat the boss. That's how I beat it, in fact. But my point is, this. the setup is not as easy as you might think it is. Out of nowhere, Panic Puppet Zone changes up the way you progress through levels by having you collect the flickies from tubes rather than from badniks, which is kind of strange. Mm. Like, I guess this is his lab, and this is before he puts flickies in them, but there are so many badniks thing is reused for freaking Sonic Adventure, um, When I first played the stage, the carnival I thought those level, tubes were the just set pieces and was super confused why flickies weren't coming out of the robots. Something else that or the director's cut changed about cards the or blast is how you could get the Chaos Emeralds. You see, in the director's cut, you can collect one emerald per zone, which works out very okay, nicely that as makes there are sense. seven zones in the game, not counting the final fight, which is only unlocked if you collect all seven Chaos Emeralds. It's honestly a nice change. Mm. Originally, you could try to get Chaos Emeralds every act, meaning you could have all seven Chaos Emeralds by the time you reach Diamond Dust Zone Act That's fine too. Zone in the game. The problem is, in the original versions of 3D Blast, neither of the last two zones, Gene Gadget and Panic Puppet, had Tails or Knuckles in oh. them, so they needed to be added in locations that are hidden a little too well. One of the locations in Gene Gadget's zone is easy enough to find, if you remember the room with a bunch of rings and a 1-up in it, but the special stage locations in Panic Puppet's zone are stupid. I just found out, as of writing this sin, that you can find Knuckles in what? Act 1. Though, how you're supposed how to, you to find that out? Out. But Tails in Act 2 is kind of just as bad. Don't. The only reason I, I was able to find him was because walls, I played the original 3D Blast on Genesis first. Like, then if the you the Zelda way where there's like a little crack in the wall, library. that's fine. In the but, Saturn ugh. version, you can see that but the stomach of spin dash everything. has some transparency. Making it at the very least observable that you can spin dash I guess that's true too. In the Mega Drive version, you're screwed. This is cryptic. I have no idea how you'd know you could do anything here and again that's kind of a problem the director's cut version has as well on top of the fact that you pretty much have to get to this part of the stage without taking damage because why scarce in this did you not see that really coming easy to get or are you trying to die I have never been less clear on where i'm supposed to attack something in a sonic game than in panic puppet zones boss because you'd think that you'd have to hit robotnik at some point after an attack pattern but no you're supposed Nega to with armor phase two all, all over again <laughs> my biggest gripe with the final fight is that the only rings you can get are at the beginning of the stage so if you aren't able to recollect rings after losing them which isn't hard to do during this boss you just have to do the rest of the phases without getting hit no room for error oh my god you didn't even re-render a new image of sonic you just <laughs> reused the same render from earlier i just like how he can fly now oh he's literally just yellow i mean okay i understand that you couldn't add new graphics but i don't know was there really no space on the rom for a few new sprites i guess not oh the crab from the beta version we gotta add the beta <laughs> there's a giant wrong, enemy crab cool the functionality you would expect out of a supersonic in this game it's just disappointing that he's no more than a recolor like almost every other super Trans yeah that's fair the hair doesn't even stick up there's more plausible deniability when it comes to whether or not knuckles is sprite is miscolored but the saturn version unmistakably has the blue on his shoes and 
instead of the green. Yeah, I see that. What stranger is that? And you know, when he's flying, it's green. They got that right. How'd they mess that up? I don't know. When my buddy and I played the Saturn version for the first time, we legit thought my copy was broken or that the console crapped out because there was no fanfare or sound effects during the special stage results Whoa. screen. Whoa. But nope, that's just how the game It would have been funny if they just had like one guy in the back the clapping his hands. does have a fanfare and sound effects, but because there is a fanfare on the act results screen in this version, How weird is that? Like Chaos Emerald. <laughs> what? That, that's not... All right, sure, blue. This game is directed by colorblind people. Or at least one of them. So, I guess it's because okay. the music was stored as an MP3 file on a CD, but could they really not get the music track to loop properly? Evidently, it's no. It's kind of awkward that the song ends, there's about a second or two of silence, and then starts I hate over. that, yeah. I caught a glimpse of an instance where I paused the game, and it shows you a map of the current level, and I have to say, if there were awards for the most pointless map in a video game, Sonic 3D Blast on Sega Saturn would lose to Tobol number one, but it would be a close runner-up. <laughs> okay, why the hell Why are the Why did this game get a map for Child the Hedgehog? You didn't. You know there are other colors you could have used. <laughs> he was blue like three times. Wrong, what is this, RT Sonic? Or freaking Sonic Pinball? No, Spinball, Spinball. I gotta be clear between the two Pinball Sonic games. Oh. Okay. No prologue, no nothing, just your fighting game band now. Sort of prelude in the Genesis version. Wow, um, that sure could have been a thumb. I guess. I guess it could have been connected. Yeah, I don't go back to this one unless you're just curious. In which case, sure. And also, the original 60 3D Blast. No, no thank you. Oh boy, this is a blast. I like the soundtrack, oh the end. Oh my god, I cannot explain to you. I still think the original control. Super Sonic like, Racing is better than the freaking be Generations 1. I hate the techno is. voice. I wish I could physically emerge from this video and make you play this just so I don't have to describe how this game is slipperier than stepping on a greased up banana peel on ice while wearing roller skates, yet stiffer than my ex girlfriend's bi ex husband Steve at a BDSM yard sale. <laughs> BDSM, of course, standing for bananas, wrenches, and margarine. Who do you think greases the bananas and puts on the roller skates? That was way video. too specific. There is a story there that I want to hear instead of this game. Interesting rabbit hole sometimes. More often than not, I learn about things which I had no intention of learning, but am then blessed or cursed, blurst if you will, with knowledge I did not wish to be privy to. In today's case, it pertains to the ichthys, more commonly known as the Jesus fish. What? Now, do I know about the Jesus fish? Yes, I do. Did I know it was in this game? Yes, I did. And despite the fact that I really had nothing to say about it, I just know there's going to be someone in the comments saying, why didn't you talk about the Jesus fish on Resort Island in Sonic R? And to that I say, oh, get ready for me to talk. Here we go. Did you know that ichthys is actually an acronym it stands for jesus christos teo yo soter meaning jesus christ god's son savior in greek but it also happens to be the coiny greek word for surprise fish now what does that mean well, Koine Greek is an evolved form that. of language, and it used to be the common dialect spoken in Eastern Mediterranean and Middle Eastern regions after the conquest of Alexander the Great, but that is neither here nor there. The ichthys was bothering me because while I knew it was the Jesus fish meant to symbolize Jesus, I didn't know why the Jesus fish. Why, why Jesus the ichthys symbolize the Son of God? And it turns out its origin is highly disputed. I just assumed it was based on the story about the guy that got eaten by a whale or something. So Many theorize that the symbol was born out of necessity, following persecution of those of the Christian faith. But it's true. Can we talk about the fact that we're talking about all of this during Sonic R? It's a freaking fish. Get a life. What I think? It's just an acronym. It's just a meme people shared back in ye old Boomerville. <laughs> ye old Dude, Boomerville. If you take the first letters of the words Jesus Christ, God's Son, Savior, it spells fish. Dude, isn't that wild? Yo, that's crazy, bro. Are you down with the G-Man? <laughs> and the guy draws a fish, and the other guy's like, oh. I would love if this was the entire six minutes, just this one discussion, nothing else. On Facebook was back then, MySpace. My and that's space. how they knew you were subscribed to Papa G, Little J, and the Holy Ghost y'all love the most. So what? what's wrong with that? Well, aside from the implications that Christianity and all the circumstances that led up to it and possibly derived from it... Are in the Sonic really, universe. It was just John Burton's way of expressing his religious beliefs by incorporating them into his work, but Sega told one of the main writers for this series that this game specifically was canon, and I sure as didn't do all that research. But everything is canon according to their ex-account. So did you. Prepare to challenge! <laughs> so 
That freaking listening to the Jesus fish was a challenge. And probably so was the explanation. You went down a rabbit hole for a freaking racing game with Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic initially doesn't want to enter the competition, but only does so after he sees that Eggman is competing too. What do you mean you don't want to enter the competition? You're the fastest thing alive. Well, I mean, that's why he's passing alive. He just win the end. Why are his name and image plastered in this area of Radical City? Also, it mentions that Knuckles is only here because Sonic's participating in the race, and that Amy's here after overhearing Robotnik's plan, and so she's racing for the Chaos Emeralds too, and... Doesn't that sound backwards? Like, Knuckles abandoned his post at Angel Island just because he somehow, don't ask me how, learned that Sonic would be racing, and Amy, for some reason, gives a shit about the chaos. Yeah, it does sound a little backwards. I mean, I can buy it the way that it was, thing. but it would have made also, more sense the other way. Being petty, but it says Sonic initially turns down the idea of entering the World Grand Prix because participating in races is not really his interest. Then, bitch, <laughs> what was all that shit in Sonic Drift 1 and 2? Well, I was driving a car then, that's different. Amy in car. Can she not fast more than vehicle? Is she not fast? For why? Vehicle can already not quite fast. What the so fuck was that language? my first time playing the original version of Sonic R on the Saturn, and because of that, I was more familiar with how the updated PC version works, since that's the one in Gems Collection. And what I'm used to is collecting all the Chaos Emeralds, which you can only do if you finish the race in first place, and all the Sonic tokens, which allow you to race the secret characters that you can unlock by beating them all in one go. Good luck with that! Originally, however, you would need to play the game twice, because racing the unlockable character effect effectively skips the Chaos Emerald check, meaning that it doesn't matter if you collected the emeralds and finished the race in first. Just stand you there. all the Sonic tokens and race a secret character, you're not getting a damn Chaos Emerald, and oh boy, did I wish I had known that when I first played this out Damn. You see this shit? This is so fucking easy to do. For a second, I thought that maybe I'd have to use someone else's footage to show this because it didn't happen to me as Amy, but of course it happened. It's the loop in Regal Ruin. How could it not happen? <laughs> it's it's always a loop. Road. Which, honestly, could have also been a level in this game. It starts with Super Sonic wins everything. I want As you to look at this the most broken thing in the game. This is the image you get when you beat the game after having collected all the chaos. Okay. Do you notice anything strange about it? This Probably is not. Weird considering thing in the top right corner. Being arguably pinker than it is purple, these are the correct colors of the chaos. Okay. okay. But in Regal Ruin, you collect an orange one instead hey, of cyan. Okay, one. okay, so where's the orange one go? Damn it, that always fixes it. In the PC <laughs> There's no way you didn't think. Oh come on! It's like you are a winner. It's just iconic. You can't get rid of it. So many publishers got their hands on this version of the game. Depending on which one did or didn't have an extended license, your copy of the game might not have even had. A soundtrack, which is like what? 90 of the reason people even well, like this How do you publish game? a game so, without a soundtrack? That thing on the, the results screen was, was like, that's Sonic. weird, but okay, but that's just like no. As you play, meaning that you'll unlock Radiant Emerald, the last level in the game, at the same time, and you beat the game by finishing in first on this level. After which the credits will roll, and you unlock Doctor Robot. Eh? That's uh. A rather underwhelming reward. Oh boy, uh, my favorite, Doctor Robotnik. Too, Eggman isn't better than any of them, so it's just weird that he can, in theory, be the last thing you. Call After him. getting Super Sonic, you can get Doctor Eggman. Yay! Shouldn't that be the other way around? Yeah, yeah let's go. You gotta include him, unfortunately. And now Lego Dimensions. Remember when this was the best thing Sonic related for a while? It was all right. WB Games is is that an eye toy with legs? Pretty much. We are sorry you don't want to help. Wow, WB Games, way to guilt trip your Rude. considering to agree for you to monitor and record their data without further disclosure. Right. right. Now I'm extra glad I said. It's no. it's like those things like, YouTube would you like to help make our con like Google or freaking Verizon better? I uh, know you're the multi-millionaire company. You do it yourself. I'm just some schmuck. Yo, world's greatest detective. You are all of a sudden in a place that is completely unfamiliar. Yeah, but it's, he's yeah. Batman. He experiences that every day. Who you and Robin were? What makes you think he would know where Robin is? What the? Where did Metal Beard go? Wow. 
You know, if you had told me that I'd one day make a Sonic Everything Wrong with video on a game featuring a character voiced by the actual Chris Pratt, I'd have laughed in your goddamn face. <laughs> He's everywhere. We can't escape Chris Pratt. This isn't going to be like that bouncing barrel in Carnival Night Zone, is it? Oh my god. That wasn't a puzzle. All you had to do was hold up and down a couple of times. Also, you might be wondering why I'm doing all this, covering the intro sequence of the starter pack of LEGO Dimensions, and it's because you literally have to before you're able to play the Sonic Adventure. All right, I kind of forgot about that detail. I haven't gone back to this in a while. Why would they not assume that players would have already built the LEGO gateway before playing? What I hate about this, this is that you have to use to the map, together, the instruction booklet, in the, in the game. game. There isn't so one when you buy the world. actual LEGO kit. Can't you can't, like, buy it in real life or something. You know what I or like, just realized? You know, you can't like use an instruction booklet IRO. Lego, you gotta do aren't. that. Because it do it in game. Everything that's man -made is Lego. It's just weird that they wouldn't have an instruction Lego. booklet with a aren't Lego construct, you know? Miniature scale models? Tiny trees, rocks, and bushes? But if they're our size, why not just Ah, like Sonic and the, and the Wizard of Oz. Oz. The, the untold Lego. storybook game. Another one to join us on our journey. And what are you missing? A sense of humor. I disagree. That was a very funny line. <laughs> I do like that he's just got the scarecrows mixed up. Why? That was cute. Why the f would that happen? We were next to the damn thing the whole time. You only ever really need Batman for that fight. Couldn't Gandalf or Wildstyle take the keystone? No. I don't know. Put it in the Batmobile. Hey, long time no see. Another thing to slow me down? Are you kidding me? Trust me, dude. As someone who played every single Sonic game before playing this as his technically first Lego game, this was my exact. <laughs> Why does Sonic need car? He can jump more than vehicle. You'll find lots of fun weapons, and we can offer you some excellent opportunities to use them. <laughs> well, we'd have to be crazy to refuse that offer. Mm. That means we're in. Oh, well, I mean, you can't blame Vortex for not knowing. You are the Joker. Nah, you trust see, the Joker. Just hold it. Nah, cause like- <laughs> We're made of Legos this time. time. I will say that one of the most difficult things for me when playing this game is how a lot of the Sonic mechanics are implemented in a game that isn't a Sonic Right, game. it just kind of forced like in. attack and the spin dash and breakable monitors yep. and springs and rail grinding. And all that good stuff. The they're supposed to. In a Lego yeah, game. it doesn't and fit. And when you played Sonic as much as I have, you kind of get used to how certain. Yeah, you get used to the patterns. So difficult because certain things would feel authentic, but then other things sort of remind you that this isn't a proper Sonic game. There were a lot of "Why doesn't this work the way I expect it to?" moments because there were a lot of "Oh, this feels just right actually" moments. Yeah. Ah, yes, Sonic's classic cast of friends: Tails, Amy, <laughs> Knuckles, Shadow, and Big. <laughs> Where does this life jacket come from? Also, I think I this was like one of the first games that came out after the boom generation. Wait, huh? So it's like, this it was kind of weird to see them back in their classic days. designs. What makes this part and when I say the games are not kind of like mobile games, they're kind of like freaking mainline games. My first creation to truly rival you. Uh, this thing's technically Robosonic. It's the first iteration of Mechasonic. The only Robosonics we've had are in the Shogakukan manga Ooh, that's and the cool. adventure game books. People have also called this one Silver Sonic, but that's incorrect also because that's the name sometimes given to the little guy from 8-Bit Sonic 2, that's also huge known officially as Mecha Sonic. There's a lot of robot yeah. versions of Sonic, just to be clear. This one? I do, yes. actually. And though technically its name is Mecha Sonic, since the last one also was, this one is known as Mecha Sonic Mark II. Also, your subtitles are missing an apostrophe in the word I'm. It's During also the part where you fly the tornado and try to shoot He's down also very man, important the camera kept panning down to the uh, previous never area, mind. and I have no idea why. I think it's a glitch where yeah, I, that, I, that experience with me too is like, can we go up now, please? No, I gotta restart the level? Uh, of up, course. So what I had to do was remove Sonic from the toy pad, put another character in by themselves, and then put Sonic back. All right. No idea what the problem was. Just switch in Why for do Batman I need or something. to build a dash pad here? I can spin dash just I'm well. Sonic the Hedgehog! Why do I need a dash pad? What so is this, Gimps? Part, you're supposed to hop back on the tornado to chase Eggman again, and I have no idea how you're supposed to know that. And it happened again. Today. Here we go. Also, Batman, you're up. If you're supposed to completely shoot down Eggman? Because I did, and that's when I got stuck, but the giant ring showed up before I beat him, so I don't know, dude. Don't look at me. Someone accidentally locked me up in here. I can't imagine yeah. why. <laughs> 
accidental. I like that. Okay, there are parts of this game I do like that is just like self-referential stuff. I like, yeah, that was totally that so mm -hmm. cinematic sequence, but nope, I am just slightly out of frame and get hit by the. Oh, fire. that's baloney. I just realized this, but are those retractable spikes in law? Yes. Maybe that's the joke, but isn't that redundant? Yes. I'd get hurt either way if I landed there. Like, no kill I like overkill. I jumped right above the lava and the spikes got me, but I can't imagine making a jump that low. This happened, so. Yeah, yeah it's weird. You know, yeah. It's hard the to really care about doing these <laughs> That, that part does re live rent like, free in it. my there head. To the next part of the level pack, but I could just not hold my controller and beat this part of the game anyway. <laughs> chaos? The hell? Why is he this big? He doesn't even have any chaos. The sad thing is, this is still a better interpretation of, of chaos than forces. I need your help. Technically not true. You've beaten perfect chaos without going generations. You just gotta hit the brain. Then afterwards, when you're tired, I can finally defeat you and take all of the chaos emeralds back. Uh, that last part about the microphone wasn't said. What? Froggy. Oh, I miss my frog. God damn it, Big! You lost the fucking frog again. Stop losing. Take the hint. <laughs> Get a leash. Wish through to the oh, end. this ends on a joke. Thank you for helping me fulfill that wish. <laughs> You're not so bad after all. Take this. I thought it was a chaos emerald, but it turned out to be a fake. Huh. You thought a gold brick was a chaos emerald? It was upside down? Do you not remember what a chaos emerald I think looks Maria's like? wish was to plant flowers or something. To I'm just gonna creep. Don't let it hit your move. Don't let it hit your move. Don't let it hit your Yeah, he's straight up. Give up the emerald or die. I don't love you. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> he, he's you know, saying his say rap. The lyrics to the songs from Knuckles' of Levels and Adventure 2 like this, you really realize that Hunted Pete did not go hard. That man was not cooking. <laughs> okay, so this but it's so cheesy. Or <laughs> made me look into the meme because I realized that I had no idea where it even came from. And I guess I from... missed when the whole thing started in 2016. Yeah, everyone was asking for SA3 and they just kept made a joke, here, big, big Fishing Adventure 3. And that would have made sense to me if they had come up with the joke but apparently it's a fan game that may or may not have been an april fool's joke but still released trailers and a trial version and went as far as to be endorsed by the social media team but also didn't seem to get much attention overall i love kind that of crap didn't go it's anywhere. a joke i don't and, yeah i get it it's a joke maybe it was never meant to be an actual of course thing, not. it's a meme that doesn't seem to be in the cultural zeitgeist as much as other fan projects which again i would understand if someone on the social well, media there's mega 2016 with, forget crap and that's what's so confusing to me how is this joke so well known that it's appearing in spin-off games when it was pretty niche even when the joke first started? Mm. I died and was somehow forced into a first person game <laughs> and could only look at big <laughs> I love that Finally. you went out of your way to tell me that frogs like water and that you saw him near the chemical plant zone, which you would assume means that Froggy must be near the Mega Mac, but no, nope. he's on he's the top of the tower. tower. Why is Sonic not grabbing him? Froggy's really not. Because then fast. the block can continue. Can't stand well, seeing block. That kind of injustice in the world. One of the many things I have in common with a certain blue hedgehog. Speaking of, next time those boys run off on an adventure, we can tell them all Amy, I'm right behind you. Things here, and then they'll have to let me come. You know, it wasn't until this line that it occurred to me that the character dialogue isn't necessarily geared towards Geared Sonic. towards in us. In fact, Amy's lines here only make sense if you're controlling a character that isn't Sonic Right? Because she's referencing him and his friends in a sort of third person. Big did the same thing earlier, too. When we completed his quest, he thanked us and called us his new buddy, even though he should know who Sonic I'm already your I friend, you jerk. You know, big just being big. For the most you part, dummy. the dialogue around here seems neutral, where it makes sense whether you're so, but no. not. So it's a little awkward when some of these characters are talking to Sonic about Sonic, as if he weren't there. Oh, yeah, I forgot this All happened. right, Super Sonic. So I don't know why or how, but I jumped underneath the Master Emerald as Super Sonic. The tornado spawned in, bumping into me, and some of my textures reverted to regular. <laughs> Remember well, that's, uh, to get to that's a... That's a... You know I need. 
I hope nobody thinks to just make more chili dogs. This plan is pretty much a <laughs> 300 IQ. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm pretty sure the game does not want you to use Sonic during the tail side quest because I didn't have any minifigs with the technology ability and each robot generator requires you to use a character with it. So I summoned Cyborg, took care of the first one, my time ran out, and the second generator also requires Batman, oh, so I okay. used him there to was. Cyborg, and when I switched to him, the side quest just reset. I have Jerk. no idea if my toy pad was malfunctioning or what, but I kept getting sucked into the vortex oh, during this. Stop! Episode. It's only appropriate that this would happen in Sandbox. Well, this game isn't getting updated anymore, so... You're screwed. Lego Mochow, tips for life. Yeah, the rest is an ad, which, you know, you know the drill. It's good for him, but I don't care. I like yeah. <laughs> We're running out of Sonic games, Chari, until they make a new one. <laughs> You're just going to the bottom of the barrel now. But <laughs> I just like how we spent more time. I think we spent more time talking about the Jesus fish during Sonic R than Sonic R itself. Don't quote me, but I'm willing to bet it was around 50-50. And man, Lego Dimensions, that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> it's not being updated anymore, but yeah. That was like all the hype back then, but now well, the hype faded. Now we have Fortnite. Ugh. But <laughs> and uh, yeah, so our 3D Blast exists. That's kind of it. It exists. Moving on. You're not gonna go back and replay it. You might play it if you're curious, or have to do a, like a review on it or something, or you know. I mean, I'm sure it has a fan in, in or two that, like, go back to it religiously. They they have to exist, right? Law of averages. But I haven't met them or seen them, really. If 3D Blast is your favorite game, okay, good for you. Just, I... Eh. <laughs> I haven't played you know, every Sonic game, though. <laughs> or I just know more from the memes of the soundtrack, and... Well, I actually played Dimensions, and it was pretty fun, but... Eh. I don't go back to it. Well, that's because my PS3 is dead, but that's beside the point. <laughs> I still have the little Sonic figures, though, so if anything, it gave me those little, like, like uh, you know, the plane and Sonic and all that jazz, so that's nice. But, yeah. So, funny stuff from Shari and more good stuff, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, wonder what it, I wonder what bottom of the barrel who's scraped next. What are you going to do? Fro Sonic Neo Geo Pocket Color? Oh, wait, he already did that one, I think. Going to start doing the comic books? You're running out of Sonic. Every time I turn around, I'm just like, really? This now? <laughs> What's left? Freaking games that have Sonic as DOC characters like, uh, I don't know, Knights? Christmas Knights? What do you do that one already? Eh, you're running out of stuff. But, eh, whatever. Sonic gets the money, so gotta go to him. But anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Later.